But Texas is your own. I got to tell you a true story. This is, I don't even talk about this, but since we're here. Uh, <laughs> I was in a town. It rhymes with Keller. Okay, and so... <laughs> So you can fact check this if this is not true. It wasn't even that long ago. I did the Chamber of Commerce mixer and I was doing comedy. Secular event, okay? It's business people, it's secular, it's a very fancy brunch. We're sitting there and the, the mayor gets up to, to pray. And I was like, that's Texas, I get it. You know, you, God bless America. So like, it's, you gotta pray. So the, I'm like, okay, that's cool. It's a secular event that would never happen in California. And she gets up and she goes, Lord, I just want to thank you for this meal. I just want to thank you for the people that attended today. I want to thank you for our country. I want to thank you for Texas. I want to thank you for our leaders, especially the ones that you're just going to put in the ground, Lord, because they're dirty criminals, Lord, and they just need to go. And we just, we bless them away, Lord. We bless them away. <laughs> yeah, Texas. Bringing it back. I don't get, I, I can't get, polit I can't get political in California. Like, I can't at all. Like, in California, you could be like, I'm Christian. And they're like, we support you. And then if I'm like, I'm conservative, they shoot you. Like, they just shoot you dead. Like, where are you getting the guns? They're like, Texas. You know, and so it's like. <laughs> people think I'm kidding. People think I'm kidding. I, I don't tell the story a lot, but I'll tell you guys. Because I like you. And so. And we're all messed up. But so during COVID, as you know, we were on hard lockdown. And you did not have COVID, okay? So California <laughs> is like wearing hazmats while we drive. And um, we were not allowed out of our houses. And I moved to this new neighborhood and I'm talking to the neighbor and we're making friends, but we weren't allowed to literally go out of the house. And so for six months, I'm texting this woman and she's watching my podcast and she's following me on social media. You guys, I do not get political out there because I don't want to get in trouble, right? And I just want everyone to agree with whatever, yes, you voted for Mickey Mouse, I support you. And so the husband of this woman, I finally am in the yard, I'm doing yard work with my 15 year old, and he walks over to me, I've never met him, and he looks like he killed someone in an alley, okay? He's got like a rake, and it's clearly a weapon, and he's walking up to me like this, and he goes, hey, and I was like, hello. He goes, my wife loves you. I was like, thank you. He's like, she watches you on so, I'm like, thank you. He's like, we have a question. And I'm like, what? We want to know if you're one of those. And he's got the rake, like, I'm dead today, you know? And so I'm like, one of those what? He goes, one of those, are you? And I'm like, what? He goes, Trumpers. And I immediately started praying in tongues, you guys, and I'm not even charismatic. You know, I was just like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I was like, what? No, I voted for Abraham Lincoln. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I love Roosevelt. I was like, what? I know. I, where'd you get that idea? Did you see? Because I bought him my pillow. That's it. Like, I don't, I don't have political. No, no, I know. Put the rake down. You know, and he like walks away. He's like, twice like, you're cool, you're cool. And my daughter's like, mom, you're like Peter from the Bible. I go, what? She goes, you denied Trump three times. 